when you've been injured by a dangerous or defective product, I think the first thing you need to do is have the mindset, this was not my fault. If that product works the way it's supposed to, it will recognize that you're a human and humans make mistakes and machines should protect us from those mistakes. That's why we have seatbelts. That's why we have airbags because we do make mistakes and the product should be designed to protect us from the consequences of those mistakes. So have the mindset to look at that product and go, if this product had been made right, if the engineers had thought about safety features, would I be injured now? Would my husband be injured now? Would my child be injured now? And if the answer is they would not be injured, that's a product liability case. The second thing that I really encourage people to do, and this is critical, don't let that product slip away. We have to have that product, if at all possible, in order to prove that product caused the injury. Another thing to keep in mind is that people are too often satisfied with workers' compensation. They get hurt at work because a punch press cut their hand off. And they go, well, I have workers' compensation, and that's the extent of my remedy. It's not. If a third party made that punch press, and that punch press didn't have adequate safety features to protect you, that's a product liability case, and we ought to at least look at it.